Welcome back to NFL Primetime. The last time the Pittsburgh Steelers started a season 4-0 was 1979. That was the last of their four Super Bowl seasons. Could the Green Bay Packers stop the Steeler Express? Late game at Lambeau Field, where the shadows crept over the field. And Bill Cower. It's been Cower power. 3-3 three, three game, second quarter. Barry Foster, leading runner of the NFL. Look at it go! 69 yards before the Packers' Jim Thorpe. Terrell Buckley finally knocks him out of bounds. 12 carries, a buck 17. You saw the majority of it right there. Steelers settle for a Gary Anderson field goal attempt. But the cornerback, Vinny Clark, comes flying in. Anderson tries to pick up the ball, but he's nailed by Tony Bennett, who leaves Anderson's heart at Lambeau Field. And the Packers are fired up. Gary did return, though, which is good news. The next play, you make him pay. That's the sign of a veteran quarterback, which Brett Favre is not. 76 yards to Sterling Sharp, and the Pack lead at 10-3. All-Pro corner Rod Woodson is so aggressive in his coverage style because he has the speed. Sterling Sharp here runs a stop, gets him to bite up on the play, and a go. And it's all over. So the Packers led it 10-3 at the half, but they knew that Bill Cowher's defense had not allowed a point in all three games of the second half thus far. And Chris Jackie working with the new holder. Mikowski out far bin, missed a 25-yard field goal. It still holds. Paul McJulian punting for the Packers. Rod Woodson, the pro bowler, great return man. Oh, lets it bounce. Then it's a bubble! And Gary Koontz pounces in the end zone for a touchdown. Mike Holmgren says, we'll take the gift. Rod Woodson says, I don't believe it. And the reason that this wasn't a touchdown for the Packers is because Rod Woodson never had control of this football. It's a muff. Green Bay takes possession at the point of the muff. But following another miscue of special teams, Mike Holmgren tells Brett Favre, go for the jugular. The pump and the touchdown to Robert Brooks, who beats Woodson 17-3. The pack, not a great afternoon for Rod Woodson. You get the pump by Favre, the aggressive attack by Woodson, the nice break to the corner by Brooks. Six. 14 of 19 for 210, a pair of TDs, no picks in his first start. And you want to see a nice scene? That's Bill Cower saying, hey, Rod, you're a great player. Even great players have bad days. You'll have great days for us. That's a great scene, folks. But the Steelers couldn't get to 4-0. They lose for the first time this year. Mike Holmgren, uh, his Packers are now 2-2, two and two, and he's played his four games against all new coaches, of which he's one of them, too. So it, it would fit uh, that he would come out 2-2. Two and two. Now, twice we saw, Tommy, that after a miscue, uh, confidence in the Packers and Favre and going for the jugular after two uh, uh, miscues on the special teams. And Favre looked relaxed, didn't he? Yeah, I think Mike Holgram has taken the time to nurse this guy along, give him some confidence. He's been with an offense, this offense, with Joe Montana. He knows if you get a guy who's poised, has a little bit of movement, enough to clear himself to throw the ball, he can be very effective. And this is going to give Favre a lot of confidence going into next week. Well, Mikowski's out for, what, two to four weeks. I mean, we're not trying to say any quarterback controversy. It's nice to know that maybe you get two good quarterbacks. So Favre, the hero last week, and now in his first start, is a winner. 100-yard rushers, well, Here's our honor roll, week four of NFL primetime. Thermal, a buck twenty in a win. Barry Foster.